Well, it's that time of year. Healthcare leaders issue a collective call to action today, urging people to do what they can to stop the spread of respiratory illnesses. Cases of the three major viruses, COVID, RSV, and the flu, are all rising and putting a strain on our healthcare systems. Isabel Garcia joins us in the studio with the message officials are sending as holiday gatherings ramp ramp up. Isabel, we all know somebody that's been bitten by the flu. Yes, it's true, Teresa. We've definitely all been feeling it, whether it's school or work. As folks plan to prepare for holiday gatherings and events, there's, of course, an increased risk as well in these highly infectious viruses. So taking steps like masking up, staying home when you have symptoms, and getting vaccinated are all measures which can help alleviate needing a hospital visit. The triple respiratory virus season is impacting our health care system in Monroe County. Strong and Highland hospitals are currently operating at above capacity levels with the number of patients needing isolation or ventilators rising rapidly this month. Midsummer, when COVID was at one of its lowest points in the last two years, we had on average about 20 to 25 patients total in our hospitals in the Finger Lakes. Now we're um, well over 100 patients. And um, we have several of them on ventilators because of severe respiratory compromise. Uh, you know, things tend to peak uh, in December, uh, late December, early January. Typically, we see, uh, you know, influenza A first, then influenza B. Uh, this year, it looks to be a little different. We're seeing more cases of influenza B earlier in the season. So that's something that we're going to follow. In an attempt to reduce inpatient care demand at hospitals, leaders are encouraging folks to evaluate their symptoms and explore the variety of alternate, less emergent care options if applicable. Urgent care is another good option. UR Medicine has many sites across the community, and you can get to our website to see the estimated wait time for each site. On-demand video visits are a third way to meet with a provider, usually in less than 15 minutes from your smartphone or your computer. I think the bottom line message here is that uh, it's not too late to get vaccinated. Uh, it takes roughly two weeks from when you get your flu shot to have the full protection from that flu shot. So we are well uh, ahead, you know, very much not yet at the peak for influenza. So now is a great time uh, to get your flu shot. And, and the same can be said for COVID uh, vaccine as well. Now, when it comes to RSV specifically, which can have severe complications for the most vulnerable population of infants and adults 60 and older, data show nearly 100 infants, children, and adults have needed to be hospitalized for the virus since October. For now, we'll send things right back to you at the desk. All right, Isabel, thank you. The county is keeping track of the rates. You can see those for yourself at rockhealthdata.org. We also have a direct link to that site in this article over at rochesterfirst.com.